Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, it's Ink Comparison Day. We're going to take a look at two grey inks, actually from the same manufacturer. The first one, Diamine Earl Grey. Up till now, been my favourite grey ink. And I'm going to compare that against Diamine Ghost. This was part of the 2022 ink vent calendar. Definite difference in size of the bottles, isn't there? Join me now down on the mat. We'll take a look at these inks, compare them against each other, and I'll give you my thoughts on each of them. Welcome down to the mat. So here we've got the two inks. Just look at the difference in size between these bottles. Diamine Earl Grey. This was actually one of the inks that was done uh, via the Reddit channel where you know reddit channel members could vote on the ink very nice ink i like this old gray it's one of my favorite gray inks in fact i'd say it's my favorite this it's a 30 milliliter bottle diamond ghost it's a small bottle it's only 12 millimeters it's a standard ink there we go hopefully you can catch that in the light this came as part of the diamond ink vent for 2022 as of recording this, there's been no announcement as to whether they'll be releasing this as a full bottle. If they do, and it follows the previous years, then it'll be released in a 50 milliliter bottle. Whereas the Earl Grey, I've got the 30 milliliter, but there's also an 18 milliliter available. So just be aware of that. It may or may not be for sale at the moment. Let's get these out of the way. Let's start though by looking at their swatch cards. So we've got here Earl Grey and Ghost. When I look at these, I do see quite a big difference. The Earl Grey, you know, yes, they're both grey. The Earl Grey, it's darker. Even around the edges, it's darker. Whereas here where we've got that edge, it looks quite a bit lighter. To me, the Earl Grey, and this is gonna sound really stupid. The Earl Grey is grey. Whereas the ghost, it's more, I actually want to say it's more of a silver side of the grey as opposed to what I would call like a classical grey. One of the things I also like about the ghost, you know, and see here where I do a single swipe down the side, there's hints of like a pale pink in there where you don't really see that in the Earl Grey. So I think the Ghost is a little bit more of a complex ink. I say Earl Grey, not sure if it's my favourite still. This is getting quite close to it. Let's turn these over and we'll look at chromatography. Looking at the chromatography, wow, there's quite a big difference. So we've got Earl Grey here. This has got obviously a line of grey at the bottom. Then we've got like a peachy colour. We're going to various pinks. We've got a fringe there of green. Then we've got a gorgeous, I'm going to call it a sky blue. Whereas with a ghost, yes, we've got that grey. A little bit paler than what I'm seeing with the Earl Grey. Then we go again into pinks. Again, they seem to be a lot more muted, a lot paler. And then we've got a pale blue, whereas we've got this, as I say, like a bright sky blue with the Earl Grey. So I actually do think the Earl Grey looks like it's a more complex ink. That's enough at looking at those sciencey type things. Let's fetch in the notepad of testing. What we want to see is some writing, don't we? I'm going to start off with Ghost. There we go. Little bottle. Let's take the cap off. Fetch in my ink holder before the ink goes everywhere. Just leave that to one side. So for my testing, I'm going to be using a serendipity dip pen. Here we go. It's got a broad Yoho nib on it. What I'll do is I'll write with Ghost, then I'll go away and I'll clean the nib and dry it off, then I'll come back and we'll do the same test with Earl Grey. So I'm dipping the pen in. So here we go. So we've got here Diamond Ghost. Drying times, I know they don't really mean too much. 10 seconds. Five, 
30 seconds. One minute. Yep, after a minute there, that's nice and dry. I'm going to write my sentence. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? You know, it's not a lot there. You can see where I've done my swipe up at the top, where I've went certainly on that mid, you can see there a lot of the pink and really on both the other two is where it's still a bit wet. The sentence looks nice. To me, when I look at this, it's more of, I've already said silvery. I would actually say the best way is it's more of a metallic type of gray rather than a black, you know, pale black type gray. And it's, it's hard to describe it, and I do struggle describing colours. But I quite like this, and I can see where the name Ghost is coming from. Just going to step away, and I'm going to clean off the pen, come back, and we'll write with the Earl Grey. So I'm back, the pen's been cleaned off. All I do to clean it, that's the beauty of using this dip nib, is I pull out the nib and feed, clean it all through water. I dry it with a piece of kitchen towel, so I get as much water off as I can then reassemble it. Let's fetch in the next ink, which is Earl Grey. There we go. Pop that into the ink holder and dip the pen in. So we've got here, Diamine, Earl Grey. Drying times, so we've got immediate. 10 seconds. Then we've gone to the next line. 30 seconds, one minute. Still smudging a teeniest little bit. And it looks here, you can see it's a lot wetter. I do these the same way. I dip the nib into the ink. I've got some strap paper, so I scribble off a little bit to take off like um, any of the real excess. Then I start writing. And I do find this can be a fairly wet ink. Going to write my sentence. Slightly different sentence though this time. I felt it was about time the Jovial Queen had a little bit of revenge on them grumpy wizards. So that's the writing tests done. Just going to pop this to one side. I want to leave that grey ink there, that Earl Grey time to dry. Going to fetch in this. This is my Galen Leather A5 notebook, 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. I've jumped ahead here to page 220. The writing tests I've done, I've had this ink in this same pen, so we've got a fairly light for like a comparison. This is a Leonardo Ferrari, and it's got a 1.1 stub nib. Nice pen to test this in. Now, one thing I will show you, there's very little stain in here on this collar. With the Earl Grey, this collar was stained grey, so that's one potential thing to be aware of. Yeah, when we're looking at the ink, I sit here, I'm still seeing it, to my eye, it's more metallic. Whereas the old grey, it's more of a black that's being watered down. I know it, I struggle with describing colours. Really like the look of this though. It's got some real nice shading coming through when I'm writing. I'm going to jump back in time. And here, I've got Diamine Earl Grey, same pen. It's nice. I don't see as much in the way of shading. I think it's a darker ink. I mean, it's hard to really do a full comparison. That's the best I can get. Whereas the ghost, to me, looks more on the grey side. Whereas, you know, the Earl Grey does seem to be darker. 
I'm still not sure which I prefer though. I think if I was in a push, I'd still say I prefer the Earl Grey. But it's a very, very subjective. And I think it also depends what you're going to be using it for. Let me fetch in our little writing sample there so we can get them both on. And can I fetch in the bottles? Will they fit? Yes, they'll all fit there in the camera. So this is my comparison of Diamine Earl Grey and Diamine Ghost. Two very attractive grey inks, and I think two grey inks that you need to think about the purpose. The Earl Grey, that to me is more business, that's more professional. Whereas the Diamine Ghost, you know, it's got that more metallic look. And I think for writing in my journal, for writing in my bullet journal, for things just for me, I think I prefer the Ghost. But for virtually everything else, Diamine Earl Grey, I think that's the way to go. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What are your thoughts on these inks? Are there any other grains out there that you think might be worth me looking at? Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment. Well, it just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.